I want you to listen to the following. No, no, don't just listen to it. I want you to understand it, to think about it. A long time ago, you were born. Like someone who enters a robot and does not know what button does each thing, you started to learn to move. To learn that such force makes that part of your body move, to walk. You learned how to speak, the colors, and the social norms. Little by little, you were understanding how reality works. The water wets, the thing falls to the ground, the sky is blue, and hitting the head hurts. An endless number of truths, which you didn't know at first. Then, over the years, you have to do the opposite way. You had to learn that the reality you learned, that normality, is not really normal. There are no elements inside the things on the floor. Not all the skies are blue. The water wets, but why? What is the art of breathing is not to make force with the nose. It is in reality to make tensions in specific parts of your body, which of course we do not realize because we are used to it. As to reality, as to what we see, we have to learn that our reality is not a universal constant. That the things are not because, yes, they are. That there is a reason behind the pain, the vision, and the thoughts you are having in this specific moment. Everything, absolutely everything, has an explanation. Think about it for a moment. Nothing is magical. The smells, the chill, the day and the night, the fact that the objects occupy a place in space, the texture of things, the sensation of touch. All that can be done is to create a framework of reality. That indisputable knowledge where there are things that do accept discussion, it is also debatable. Space, time. We have spoken many times of this too. They seem so constant. You could believe that things like space and time are stable and that they are a good starting point to begin to establish reality. But, as I have said many times, this is not like this. Not even space and time remain unchanged. They are fluctuant. They are modified. The fact that there is an explanation for absolutely everything, it is fascinating and above all, it's very disconcerting that the more disconcerting things are, the more one starts to doubt about existence. Let's go back to you. Yes, you. To the person who is watching this. Answer me this question. Are we in existence? Do we exist? Are we here? The obvious and quicker answer is yes, of course. But think about it. What makes you believe you are here? See around? What do you see? Breathe? What does it smell like? Touch the furniture, the armchair. What do you feel? What texture do they have? What you see is not enough proof that it exists. I remind you, vision is a perfectly explicable and replicable process. It is not magical. A camera also captures images, and we cannot say that it exists not at the level that we expect to exist. There are people who see differently, other colors, even some other people with disorders see a reality different from what we see. There are also blind people. They do not exist. That you see is not enough to exist. The same goes for the other senses. There are people without smell, without touch, others who have orthopedics that simulate the sensation of touch, the feeling, that you feel the floor cheer, your bed or the breeze on your face, it's not a proof that it exists. It happens that all those things are not reality. They are what you learned as a child that was. Everything you see, everything you feel, that memory is so real and intense that you would like to forget, but you can't. Everything you ever thought, my words in your head, everything is the product of your brain. Thanks to the sensitive machines of your body, it accepts signals, like antennas, waves, images, do not exist. They are simply the interpretation that your brain wanted to make of certain waves, not very different from those of radio. Touch doesn't exist. Actually, you are not touching anything. Atoms never touch each other. Not even the atoms that your own hand is made of. That feeling of when we touch something soft or rough is nothing more than something your brain invented to give you the information. Everything, and I repeat, even your thoughts are electrical signals in your brain. So, how can you be sure that I exist? 
How can you be sure that what you feel is real? Imagine for a moment a brain connected to a cable, and through that cable they transmit the information of an image so that it sees, of a sound so that it listens, of a feeling so that it feels, of an idea so that it thinks. How could you be sure that you are not something similar? That you are not floating in the middle of nowhere, or in a lab test tube, or being a program inside a large computer? How could you know if all those realities that you knew and were forced to learn exist? If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Share this video with a friend so you can share the mind-blowingness, and of course, Question yourself. Are you here?